Raindrop dropped top. The Cabrini vs. Keystone action did not stop on Saturday until two games were played between the two schools. The second and third game of three games in two days. Jake Dohar starting on the mound for the Cavaliers. Let's start here in the bottom of the third. one nothing Giants from the freshman. Michael Massey has smacked a shot to left center field. And he'd be in there with a double for Cabrini. Next at bat. Freshman Sean Stackhouse stacked another Cabrini double on the stat sheet. Massey has scored and nodded it up at one. The Cavs tried to add on the junior standout. Dylan Butler swung and missed at a nasty breaking pitch from Tyler. Wilts to end the frame, top four we go. And Keystone drove in a run on a throwing error here. But on a great effort by right fielder Tyler Norris, they got an ambitious Adam Kelly out at first on the tag. That is great baseball right there. That was about as good a play as Cabrini was going to get that inning. As the wheels began to fall off, a double here by Pi Christian would add another run, making it 3-1 Giants. Next batter, Anthony Ferreza hit a dribbler back to the mound to Dohar, who won after Christian. And whoa, there he goes. They get the out at third on a beautiful scoop and tag by Butler. Next at bat. Left fielder Austin Shazier drilled one to left to bring in another run, ending Dohar's day on the mound for the Cavaliers. Dohar went three and two thirds with five runs allowed. Only one was earned though. Michael Rodriguez came in to pitch for Cabrini and bartender Brady Barr punched himself a round trip ticket around the bases to give the Giants an eight to one cushion in the fourth inning. Cabrini was never able to mount the runs necessary for a comeback. They fell to Keystone in this one by a score of 13 to three.